Hi and welcome to my XPRIZE video. The topic I'd like to discuss is alternate energy sources for powering our automobiles um, as an alternative to gasoline. As you know, gas prices have hit record highs this last year and we definitely need to take another look at reinventing the automobile to make it energy efficient, make it good for the environment, uh, less smog we have to uh, breathe in, and something good that we'll be passing on to future generations. One of the concepts that came to mind was um, a one device charging another. For example, a laptop which is powered by battery and it is powering another device via USB such as a MP3 player, um, digital camera, whatever it may be. And taking that type of um, system and applying it to uh, car technology. So now the question you must have is well, once the laptop runs out of battery, how do you power it? Well, of course you would plug it into a wall outlet. Well, with a car, that would be hard to do since you're always on the move. So what would you use for a power source to um, run your automobile? And the two sources that you see um, that are really making this move now are wind energy and solar. So you wonder how can you harness that energy and put it into an automobile. And one of the things that I discovered when I was driving was when you put your arm outside of your car, there's a tremendous amount of wind energy. So how do you harness that wind energy? Well, one of the things that I was thinking was our cars have air intakes. And there's got to be a way to be able to put wind turbines underneath the car or on the sides of the car to be able to take in that wind energy and produce energy. Another thing would be solar panels on the top of the car. Okay, now probably the question you're asking is now that we've got the solar and wind energy, where are we going to store it? And one of the things that I was thinking about is why not have two batteries in there? You've got one that um, you can use to um, plug in your car overnight and so when you wake up in the morning you'll have a full um, fully charged battery and then you've got the other one that could be used to store the alternate energy. So once you drain your primary battery then it um, switches over to the other battery that has the solar and wind energy in it. And as that one starts depleting, the other one's charging. So it's constantly going back and forth. Um, and so both batteries um, could use either the plug-in energy or it could use the solar energy. But I'm thinking of a way that you're constantly charging those batteries. Um, but anyway, that's just a thought I had, and I wanted to uh, get your insight on um, what you think about this.